I got a, a lot of stories. I come from Puerto Rico. I like that, Gabo. All right, so Gabo and I were straight up just talking, having a conversation. We were starting to talk about, you know, sci-fi video games and games like Halo and Area 51 and, yeah, stuff like that. And the reality is our conversation kept going somewhere else. So I think for the first time, we're going to kind of discuss this. Mario Galaxy, yes, Out of This World. Oh, Out of This World is one of my favorites, too. Uh, Halo. Gabo. Aliens. Wow. Aliens, bro. It's a weird thing to talk about. I know it's not gaming related, but I think Gabo and I have had a lot of conversations about aliens, extraterrestrial life, like when we are uh, just during the week. We'll just chit chat about it, talk about it. We're both huge fans of Blink-182. We talked about how Tom DeLonge is super into it. We watched, we've watched his stuff. Uh, I, the most basic question to kind of get us talking, Gabo, is do you think there are not just UFOs, you know, flying objects? Do you think there, do you think aliens exist? Like the Beatles song says. Of course. So you're saying you would lock it in as a hundred percent. Oh yeah. Of okay. Course. Okay. Before it's, yeah, bef it's, it's, it's ridiculous to think in this big universe with a lot of wars we are the only ones. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So, and I'll say before we even move on, just so my opinion is out there too, I would say uh, I have, I'm not going to say 100% they do, but I am definitely going to say I don't believe that they aren't out there. That's how I'll say it. I don't know if that kind of makes sense, but I put it this way. If the government tomorrow was like, there's aliens, I wouldn't even be like, oh, no way. I'd be like, oh yeah, I, I thought so. But you know what's funny? Wait, before you say one more thing, the big meme that was going around is even if there is aliens, the government will never tell us because we can't handle yeah. anything anymore. Well, clearly oh, we see oh, how that, oh. we see oh. what, what's going on with toilet paper over a virus. Yes, it is a real thing, but we can't handle, we can't handle the truth anymore at this point. Yeah. Now we I can. cannot say, now I cannot say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how about this? Before we go for what was that your was fascin stupid. What was your it fascination? that got you started like being fascinated with aliens or, or starting to believe like, okay, these are real or whatnot. I don't know, man, since I was a kid, I don't know if I ever told you Puerto Rico is uh, what they call a hot place. Oh, it's like a hot spot. Hot spot. Wait, 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 hold on. I, I, this is a, uh, this is really important. Uh, you know, I want to make sure that we talk about aliens the right way. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> are you coming in peace? I come in pieces. <laughs> All right. I'm taking this off. All right, go ahead. But yeah, go ahead. Puerto Rico is a hot spot. It's a hot spot. And since I was a kid, I hear a lot of stories. Yeah. Um, I used to have an aunt over there, rest in peace, that she always used to tell me a lot of stories. Yeah. And she, she always said to me that she was in contact with them. But to be honest, so was I, she saying she's in contact with aliens or like spirits with, or like beings or what was her beings, words? Beings, beings that, from other that, galaxy. Because that's the thing that separates it a lot. Is there's a lot of that talk like this, and people are like, "Oh, so do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in demons? Do you believe in angels? What is wrong with you?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, but you know what I'm saying, though, right? There's a big. Uh, world that there of outer things that people believe in, and I never, I always like to clarify which one they're talking about. Yeah, well, uh, she always told me about stories uh, about being from other galaxies, God. from other worlds. <laughs> I thought you said she tells you about beings from other galaxies. <laughs> oh, bro, this is going all the way. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, and some crazy story, but to be honest, I, I was, I believe her like 75%. Oh, of, got it. Because she, was, she used to have some mental problems too. Mm. But for me, um, since I was a kid, man, I always believe. I even see UFOs. Got it. And like five times in my life, man. The most recent was in Bakerfield Desert. As an adult? Some, yeah. Okay, yeah. Work, here in California, working here like three or four years ago, I was, I was shaking some poles in Bakerfield I don't know if you know in Bakerfield, there's a lot of oil, yeah. oil factories or yeah. grounds. I don't know how they call it. 
So I was driving in those desert and I was looking at the at one pole and I see a power this. pole for those wondering. He checks electric yeah. poles to make sure they're done properly. Okay, go ahead. And something, I don't know, something told me look that way. And when I look, I see this big, like, I don't know, like a cigarette shape, mm. like platinum color. You yeah. remember the, the uh, episode one? The Queen of what? Queen ship, Star Wars episode one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You remember the ship? Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I don't remember that color. That name. color. Yeah, like yeah. platinum, like like yeah. silver. Yeah. And yeah, dude, I platinum. see it for platinum. like. Yeah, I see it for like. Yeah, thank you. For like five seconds, all of a sudden, boom, it disappeared. Got it. So I get so crazy, and I begin posting of on. Um, Facebook back then now I don't use Well, it's Facebook. good to me that you saw it as an adult because a lot of times when we're kids, you know, you can set back and be like, did I see that? Like, was that real? So that's why when yeah. you said it and you know, you kind of went forward and said, I saw it as an adult, yeah. that kind of sets it as like, okay, you, you're not saying, you know, we can prove if you saw it or not, yeah. but at least we can say you saw it as an adult with common sense. It's funny because I never saw one in Puerto Rico. Mm. I always... I saw like three times in Colombia, believe Got it or it. not, because uh, one of the, the town that all my family live is mm -hmm. like three hours from the city going to the mountains. Got it. Imagine El Dorado movie. Yeah. Yep. So over there, the, uh, normally on on holidays on around December, January, they don't have a lot of clouds, and the sky oh, so can, at yeah. night is clear. So I remember a couple of times seeing like like lights doing like this zigzags oh, between nice. the stars, and I was like, "Well, you know, it's it's not the the beer that I was drinking or anything." Yeah, yeah. You know? So that's interesting. That was... For me, it's always been. Um, I definitely started out as more of like a fascination before I like came to the conclusion that I believe they could be out there because I was definitely, I've always been into, you know, funny enough, I would listen to Aliens Exist by Blink-182 as a kid all the time and things like X-Files always were really, they would get me like in a way that like, I feel like my brain was like, kind of like, it would want me to like reason with it. Like, could this be real? Could this happen? Could this not happen? And yeah, yeah go ahead. Can you believe I never watched X Files before? It's good, man. It's good. I only know the team song. Yeah, it's, a... it's classic. Yeah, but I, I like, and this is why I asked you earlier about like your definition of like other beings or spirits or whatnot. You know, I'm more of a, I'd say, religious person, uh, I guess. So I have like other looks on that type of stuff, like angels and demons and stuff like that. And uh, I've definitely heard a lot of stories from family. I know Ricky has too from his family about like demons and seeing stuff like that. And I've experienced some weird stuff before too. You know, we used to, my dad used to, um, he used to work for this lady who was a Wiccan, you know, a witch. And she had a big black hand statue in front of her house. And my dad took us there to go see it one time. And he, uh, he drove by it and our car turned off while we were driving by and it wouldn't turn back on. And we, really? he, I was like, okay, my dad's joking. And he couldn't turn it back on. And we had to push the car out in front of her, away from her house. When we got past her house, he was able to turn the car back on. So stuff like that, not necessarily aliens. You, yeah, you know me. I, I, you know my belief. Yeah. And I'm the kind of person that believes what he sees. Got it. Right? So it's funny because my mom always told me that she, she, back in the days, used to talk with angels. Got it. Because my mom was very sick and she always tell us the, the same story same story that in the hospital uh angel come to her and and you know help help her getting better got it who knows man well, well i and for me of course being a religious guy i of course me i know i do believe in angels you know it's all over the bible it's everything in there but there also is and i you know i kind of showed you earlier there is yeah. verse there's verses in the bible that don't necessarily talk about aliens but that kind of have like and I wouldn't say they refer to aliens, but they kind of have like a consistency that might feel like, well, they could be talking about aliens, you know, or or something outerly. I think the word alien is what makes people feel like we're crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, oh, you believe in aliens? You're you're weird. Well, well, ask Trump. 
<laughs> Why does he does he believe in him? I have no idea. I, I have I have no idea what that even meant, Gabo. Remember, um, I haven't had social media for almost four all, years. All the, I don't know all, any politics. Yeah, stop politics. Um, other thing that reinforced my belief in other beings from other galaxy uh-huh. is all all the things from the all the things they are found in stones with carving of aliens you know oh oh, oh yeah 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 uh in egypt yeah when people south, they're, they're south carving, america their version yeah. of a newspaper back then saying like hey we saw something up there yeah, you the, know, Mag- the magians the aztecas all that yeah who knows man who knows who knows yeah again we don't know and sadly and sadly with the way we've reacted with a lot of things in the world I don't think they're ever going to tell us. They were probably like close to telling us something, anything, even if it's not aliens, but they're like, never mind. They can't handle it. Um, one thing that I think I'm almost sure all the UFOs mm-hmm. and all the lights, strange lights, it has to have, it has to be the military, man. Oh, a lot it of the strange to, lights. Yeah. It has to be the army. It can be for sure. Again, it, it can I'm be. Sure. So, so my belief, this is my belief. I think they are being from other galaxy in other wars or whatever and they're con you know they're in contact with the government and they're okay. changing stuff you know well uh, now people is gonna say oh that was crazy the but who thing knows, is man? the thing is i don't think people who say aliens do not exist are crazy and i don't think people who say aliens do exist are crazy i don't think until we have any sort of proof either of us can be justified as yeah. crazy you know what i mean yeah so that's, um, that's the thing let me ask you are you ever seen one a strange light or no but i've had a lot of dreams about aliens and they recur in my dreams a lot like i've had the same ones multiple times where it's always the same thing that i see it's always looking at my tree and then my tree opens up it was a tree in my backyard as a kid sitting in my backyard looking at my big tree the tree would open up and the face would just light up in the middle of it and be looking at me and it was wow. scary it wasn't and it was a it was an alien it was for alien? sure an alien it, it, or it def- was ricky it might have been Ricky. No, I didn't even oh. know Ricky at that time. And I could definitely say the thing that was a little un- nice about it, it wasn't pleasant because it was scary. I, I It wasn't like I was like, wow, cool. It was like, I was like, oh my gosh, like that is frightening. So since you like the topic, I recommend you to look on YouTube. Uh, UFOs in El Junque. In El Puerto Junque? Rico. Oh, it's a place El, in Puerto Rico. El Junque, yeah. It's a, it's a tropical forest. Got it. And in, they say, the urban legends say, uh, the grace, how they call it over there. Okay. That's how they call it. The grace, hang over, hang there. So oh, okay, that, okay. Right from, there's a couple of houses around that forest. And, you know, there's a lot of stories, man. It's, it's so cool. <sighs> it's so crazy, cool. man. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy topic, man. I love it. And, yeah, yeah. Um, before before uh, again <laughs> come on rifle <laughs> i'm trying to you be know, serious I, here did i ever tell you that i saw another ufo in arizona me too right there oh, oh, oh you okay. saw one in arizona yeah was it a on game my on way expo? He, no it was a couple of years ago on my way here i was driving probably it was midnight and I stopped to take a leak. That's how you say. To go pee. To pee. Yes, to go pee. In the high, in the highway, and I was looking at the sky. It was, dude, clear. And I begin. I I saw two lights, like doing like. And let's make this very clear. And I know we don't need to be saying this, but Gabo does not do any sort of drugs. Turn that off. Where'd your lights go? Your lights just went dark. Oh, there you it's, go. It's my, it's my TV. I said, let's make this very clear. I know we don't need to be talking about this, but Gabo no. does not do any sort of drugs. He doesn't smoke. None of us do, I'll be honest. I, I so. don't smoke. I don't drink. Well, yeah. I used to drink back in the days. But you don't know no. anymore, pretty much ever. Yeah, no, no. I yeah. used, you're just a normal social drinker, like beers. Yeah. I'm not saying, drinker. yeah, sometimes I drink a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, like two or I've three never years. seen you drink a beer in the time that I've known you or yeah. anything. And we don't see yeah. that also, yeah. Just yeah, making that no. clear so people aren't like, well, you guys must have been drugged out to believe that. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I so. think that the most bad thing that I drink is Monster. Oh. And of course, soda. 
so that's the worst that though. that's yeah that's the worst drug oh so delicious but yeah all right well hey the reality is uh let us know what you guys think honestly it's a weird topic or you're not crazy for thinking they are there Wait. or you're not crazy for thinking they don't yeah guys let us know if you guys want us to talk about these kind of topics because i got a lot like not stories. necessarily gaming yeah not always. games like like how you call this other like, stuff ter- terror stories anything like, yeah i mean yeah we, we, we I, definitely like dark stuff i'd love to tell some of the demon stories my, so dude, something wait wait this is that. important i forgot about this my my grandpa most people i should have said this earlier in the video this is probably part of my fascination my grandpa was an exorcist no way dude let's yep. do that next video that please. was my grandpa's job he was an exorcist in, dude, in I got New a, mexico i got a, a lot of stories i come from puerto rico <laughs> All right, that's I'm just gonna end it there. Let me give you a reaction to that. Thumbs up. <laughs> a little yay. <laughs> but, All right, we're out of here. All right, nah, you guys. That was great. Yeah, the Bye. force beast trekkies. Bye.